Like many of the familiar faces on cable news, I'm coming to you from an unfamiliar place this week. Home. I'm self-quarantined during the coronavirus pandemic. But before all of this came up, the big story was, of course, the 2020 presidential race. These days, it's a mixture of sport and spectacle at the velocity of social media. A process of elimination, not unlike American Idol. And it didn't get that way overnight. Dark horse Jimmy Carter, a former one-term Georgia governor without a national profile, announced his improbable run for the White House two years before the election he won, besting a primary field that was a who's who of establishment politicians. Back to the future. The presidential campaign cycle is now four years long, and as President Trump is being judged day by day under these dire circumstances, and his general election opponent is now known, a 2024 field may already be emerging. If re-elected, Trump would be term limited, and Joe Biden has already said he would not seek a second term. As his state became a coronavirus hotspot, national media have literally tuned into New York Governor Andrew Cuomo's daily briefings. Even Fox News broadcast them live. Would it surprise you to know that the internet domain name Cuomo2024 has already been registered? As has the corresponding domain name for his California counterpart, Governor Gavin Newsom. Somebody thinking of ambitious former U.N. ambassador and South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley has grabbed both Nikki 2024 and Haley 2024. You didn't think you've seen the last of Mayor Pete, did you? Somebody seems to think the first daughter could follow in her dad's footsteps. But who? We can't know for sure because when you type those addresses into your web browser, nothing comes up and often the registrations themselves are masked. And because cyber squatters can make big bucks getting first to that name. So for now, keep hitting refresh and keep washing your hands.